Hey guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to blur out people's faces or anything really in Premiere Pro CC. Now this can be handy if for example you're doing an interview with someone and they say that they do not want their face on camera um, or for example I used it recently on an unboxing video where my address was on the box and I didn't really want people to see it. So what I'm going to do is press Control i just to bring my footage in and I'll just probably um, use one of my previous videos, so this one here about Apple. I'll just bring this in. Um, okay, you will have to um, bear with me a bit because my laptop is quite slow. So I'll just drag this in to make the sequence. And you should see it popping up here. As you can see, my computer is painfully slow. So then what I'm going to do is go over and find a bit here where you can see my face. Then I'm going to go click on this little um, piece of paper with the corner turned up or whatever it is and make an adjustment layer. Press OK and then drag that adjustment layer onto the piece. So I'm just going to do it here and you can obviously drag that out if you want to make it longer but um, I don't really need to for the purpose of this video. Then what you're going to want to do is make a title. So go to title um add new title should pop up default still okay and it brings you up with this little window so you can do things like text in here which um i would show you now but i think i'll do that in a different video so what you're just going to do is select the ellipse tool and circle right over the face kind of like that so i think i'm going to make it a bit longer drag it up that should do there and you can just close that now and drag your title right on top of your adjustment layer. Then what you're going to want to do is go to effects and type in mosaic. And you should see mosaic under video effects and then stylize. And just drag that onto your adjustment layer. Then what you're going to want to do is go to effect controls. And for mosaic, if you just hover over here... Um, you should see here you have your mosaic pattern. So what I'm actually going to do here is um, go to here and... Okay, so what you need to do is go over to effects and type in track and you should see track matte key under video, F video effects keying and then track matte key and just drag that onto your adjustment layer. Then what you do is go to effect controls and here um, under track mat key select video 3 and you can see that popping up. Now I really don't like that kind of blur so what I'm going to do is change it to about 70 horizontal blocks so you can see it obviously makes a lot more and about I'll try 70 again there and you can see you still get the face shape but it doesn't work too well. Now that is the cubed kind of effect. Now what you can do is simply turn off the mosaic and type in Gaussian Blur um, or GAU um, will be enough and it will be video effects, blur and sharpen, then Gaussian Blur. Drag that again onto your adjustment layer, go to effect controls and for sharpness here just drag it up and you can see it is slowly blurring out my face there. Now, what I can actually do here is go and edit. Okay, so I don't really like the way this looks, so I'm just going to double click on the title track to bring this up again. And I think I'm going to move it up over here a bit, make it slightly wider, um, and lower that down. See how that looks, maybe? And you can see there, now it is covering my whole face. So this will work throughout the whole video, so you can see here it stays in the same place. If I were to drag these both out across them this length of time, you can see it's still blurred out over here. I can scrub along and I suppose it's like that. You can simply cut both of these and then move to your um, mask and if you double click on it, you will be able to drag your mask around and since you've made a cut it will not affect before the cut but only after so for example if I move my head over to here I would move the blur to there and you can do it like that and with things like After Effects I'm not too sure if you can do it in Premiere Pro but I know you could in After Effects you could do some motion tracking to get it to stay with the face as it's moving 
So then that certainly allows for a lot more effects. So stay tuned for a nice little tutorial involving text and this kind of feature, which um, may not be quite what you think. So yep, um, subscribe to the channel for that. If you like this video, please give it a like, a share, and why not subscribe to my channel for more content. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below or email me at the address in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See you.